Ladies and gentlemen, there's an article in The Hill today. Is Merrick Garland finally ready to indict Donald Trump? Well, let's quickly run down the list of allegations the past six years that have nothing to do with Donald Trump, that were simply leveled against him because he was um, a political obstacle to Democrats. It was, if anything, it was Clinton who could have easily been indicted with top-secret intelligence on private servers. Nobody knows how that intelligence was transferred or migrated to private servers from secure locations within the U.S. government. Nobody knows how that's possible. In fact, if you, if you ask anyone that, they just give you this blank stare. They have no clue what it is. They don't know what you're talking about if you say, well, Clinton had top-secret intelligence on private servers, SAP intelligence, special access program intelligence, and, you know, they just happened to show up on her private servers for four years, never had a government email address, and nobody knows how that intelligence and classified data was obtained. Now, then you have Comey saying, well, there was no intent to deceive. Okay, that is absurd. That's inherent to owning a private server is the intent to deceive or the intent to break laws. Anyway, we know that there are two standards of justice. That's why when the New York Times says, oh, Ken Paxton indicted uh, under FBI investigation and still popular with Texas. Well, yeah, the New York Times should know that the FBI or top people within the FBI, Comey, Strzok, McCabe, Clapper, um, no, sorry, Clapper, ODI chief, uh, Brennan, Central Intelligence Agency, Strzok, McCabe, Comey, Kleinsmith was just indicted under the Durham Probe Special Counsel for lying to a FISA judge, fabricating evidence just to keep investigations going. You have text messages from numerous, about four or five um, FBI employees stating, we'll stop Trump. Peter Strzok will stop Trump. Uh, Trump voters are smelly. He's a menace. So obviously, you have that intel agency aligned with Democrats. It's not rocket science. This is not like the the headlines that 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 state, well, is Merrick Garland finally ready to indict Trump? If they could, they would, but they can't, so they won't ever. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. We are over, we're almost at 195,000 subs. Ladies and gentlemen, 200,000 is approaching. It's because of you. Hit subscribe. There's two standards of justice. The FBI is not really going to go after top Democrats. They'll go after Republicans, definitely Trump Republicans. And they'll try their best with a steel dossier to go after Trump. Comey started a special counsel that led to no indictment of Trump. The Mueller probe led to no indictment of Trump. The central theme of the past five years within the Democratic Party is that Trump worked with Vladimir. Okay, that was a lie and a hoax and a bogus, absurd fantasy literally purchased by Madam Secretary and the Democratic Party. Okay, and by the way, I want Clinton to be um, the nominee in 2024 for the Democratic Party. I want a rematch. I think that, well, she would be infinitely better than Biden, Clinton would, Hillary. Uh, that's no, anybody would. He's an, like, basically, he has the persona of an exhumed body. So anybody would be better. But um, we need that. We need that rematch. Because as we know, Facebook has stole 2016. But here, really quickly, they didn't get him on working with Russian intelligence officials. He never worked with any Russian intelligence officials. He never had any direct ties uh, to the Kremlin. He never had any compromising ties or information on him or anything like that. The Steele dossier was purchased. The Alpha Bank nonsense was fabricated. You have a Clinton-linked attorney indicted. So they didn't get him on Trump Russia. And they didn't get anyone. Nobody was ever indicted on any um, conspiratorial endeavor pertaining to um, 2016. Not one person. People were indicted on process crimes because they couldn't, they needed to save face. They needed public relations victories. So you had Peter Strzok setting up Michael Flynn, okay? Uh, then you had George Papadopoulos being set up. Then you had Carter Page being, so he wasn't indicted, but he had Carter Page being set up. He's suing Comey um, right now. You have uh, Paul Manafort indicted for something he did 10 years ago. 
and you have other people who lied to FBI agents about things that had nothing to do with uh, you know Trump being installed by a foreign adversary. But anyway, the theme when they when they tried to pin everything they've been saying for the past five years has been an absolute lie. So they didn't get him on uh, you know him being installed by the Kremlin. Okay, that so the Mueller probe found nothing, like literally found nothing. No indictment of anyone working with an intel official from another country. His tax returns, they got his tax returns. Uh, they found nothing. No, nothing with his tax returns. Okay, so there are two standards of justice. You definitely don't uh, audit uh, Madam Secretary's foundation, but you go after Trump, and then when you get his uh, tax returns, you find nothing. So they didn't get him on the Mueller probe. They didn't get him on his tax returns. They didn't get him on Stormy. It's Michael Avenani now in prison. And Michael Cohen now is in prison, or was in prison, who knows. He sold his soul to the Democratic Party and, and media. So now they kind of love him, not really. Who knows what's going on? They just, they, 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 they leech on to or latch on to anyone that uh, opposes Trump. It really doesn't matter who the person is. So... They didn't get him on the Mueller probe. They didn't get him because that was completely fabricated and set up. We're finding that from the Durham probe special counsel. Three indictments already directly related to why the special counsel exists. The Mueller probe indictments were not related to why the Mueller probe existed. Okay, They couldn't even get Trump on a campaign finance violation pertaining to the uh, Trump Tower meeting with Eric Trump. Or no, Donald Trump Jr. Hey, Donald Trump Jr. was not indicted. So it's not like you had Comey saying, well, there was no intent for Trump to take advantage or work with Russian intelligence officials. Okay, so they have his, okay, so Mueller probe, no indictment of Trump. And then, then we have Mueller probe, then we have uh, tax returns, no indictment of Trump. <laughs> they couldn't find anything in the tax returns. Could you imagine what, if they really did um, an investigation of Hunter and uh, mashed potato brains, our president, could you imagine what they'd find just from those email, those laptop emails alone? Okay, and there's like a million ways you can find out without a shadow of a doubt that it's hunters. We know already that it is. Okay, the New York Post broke one of the most important stories of all time, and of course they were silenced by Twitter, who is uh, completely objective, yes. So, Mueller probe, nothing. Tax returns, nothing. Stormy. Nothing. Abinadi goes to prison. January, nothing. They say, oh, well, he, he, was, he was trying to overthrow the government. No, he wasn't. It was a bad, like, that was not a good decision. To have those demonstrations that day, not a good decision. Not a good decision. <laughs> but then you had, um, allegedly, you had FBI officials there. That's according to testimony that Ted Cruz obtained. You can hear the testimony. The, uh, the, the bureau official is like, well, you know, we're not going to tell you how many people were there. Maybe there were people there. We don't know. Possibly. Yeah, probably. There, yeah, actually, there were. So, so Mueller, nothing. Tax returns, nothing. Stormy, nothing. Um, no campaign violations, nothing. For a number of reasons. January, nothing. Okay, the FBI cleared him pretty much immediately. The Attorney General of D.C., and the um, the Attorney General of D.C. and the uh, Mayor of D.C. didn't push to level any charges to Trump. Okay, so that's four obsessions that the media had. And they say, well, Trump lies. Nobody lied more than they did. And they lie by perpetuating the suspicion of Trump. Oh, then you have... Um, then you have his... the five investigations. Okay, so five investigations. You'll see that on the title. Five investigations of Trump... The fifth pertaining to uh, the New York probes into him elevating real estate value. The, the, the city employees who work as, as district attorneys or, or, or prosecuting attorneys, they don't, they don't know what like New York real estate is about. So they have no clue if these billionaires in New York, uh, like the valuations of apartment buildings, the, New York and Tokyo are the most expensive cities on the planet, on planet Earth. So that's five investigations now. The district attorney there has basically given up. 
Um, then there's a couple, I mean, you could, there's like a Georgia investigation that led to nothing. They're always saying that Trump pushed and pressured people. Even President Zelensky stated he wasn't pressured, but they still impeached him. Give me your thoughts below. That's five huge investigations that led to no indictments. And Merrick Garland will not indict Trump because if he does, any indictment would lead back to the intel officials or the government or the media that helps set up and frame Trump. Give me your thoughts, mainly the government officials. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Watch the Durham Probe segment tomorrow morning. Thank you.